This video explains how to create a vector with names using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a vector containing certain values. And we can do that, as you can see, in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector is appearing at the top right, which is called my values. And then in line three of the code, we can print this vector of values to the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, our vector contains the values one, two, five. Then we also need to create another vector which contains the names that we will assign to these values later on. And we can do that as you can see in line five of the code. So if you run this line of code, a new vector called my names is appearing at the top right. And if you print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that our vector of names contains the letters A, B, C, D, and E. Now let's assume that we want to combine these two vectors into a named vector. Then we can apply the setNames function as you can see in line eight of the code. And within the setNames function, we need to specify the vector of values that we have created before and the vector of names which we want to assign to our values. And then we also need to assign the output of the set names function to a new data object. And in this case, I'm calling this new data object my vector. So if you run line eight of the code, another vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called my vector. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have assigned the names of our my names object to the values in our object my values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.